Police Storm X Minister Doak's House in Kogi State. These are not the best of times for the former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Mohamed Bellawa Doak, San. About 10 policemen from the force headquarters stormed Doak's house on Friday, July 14. The ex-minister said it was the fourth time he would be subjected to search. A report by The Nation indicates that about 10 policemen from the force headquarters stormed the country home of the former Minister of Justice, Mr. Mohamed Bellawa Doak, San, on Friday, July 14 in Aachen, Kogi State. According to the report, the police action was prompted ostensibly on a tip-off from a whistleblower. However, the one-hour search by the policeman was in vain as no money or incriminating documents were found in the house. Ex-Minister Doak said this is the fourth time his property will be searched by security agencies. Eyewitnesses quoted in the report said the police storm stormed the house at about 4.15 p.m. allegedly looking for cash. The search which was said to have been conducted under tight security, ended at about 5.15 p.m. Apart from pistols and rifles, the policemen were said to have mobilized diggers and axes for use to gain entrance into the residence. The ex-minister's younger brother, Mr. Abdullah Doak, who was in the house when the incident occurred, narrated his experience. His words, the policeman presented a search warrant obtained from the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Gudu in Abuja. Their leader identified himself as a police officer from the force headquarters, Abuja, but he refused to disclose his identity. They said they came to screen the duplex based on some clues. They came with pistols and rifles. But there was no resistance from our family. We obliged the policemen their request. I quickly mobilized all the security men in the area to witness the search. They ransacked the house from the boys' quarters to the guest room and the ex-minister's master bedroom and the wife's bedroom. They also climbed the surface tank and the roof at the penthouse. They also frisked all of the upholstery chairs in the house and the dining set. After about one hour search, they said nothing was found in the house. They wrote a report which I and three others countersigned, indicating that there was no cash or document retrieved from the residence. Reacting to the development, the ex-minister said it was the fourth time he would be subjected to search. He alleged that the searches were in furtherance of an orchestrated plan to harass, intimidate and generally prevent me from pursuing my suit against the federal government. He continued, I am, however, certain that at the appropriate time, all those behind my travails will be exposed and shamed. By the grace of God, Nigerians will be made aware of the ignoble role some of their so-called leaders are playing in furtherance of their personal interests in the guise of fighting corruption. Nage. Com gathered that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, had raided the ex-minister's residence in Kano on April 12. Also, on May 6. The Nigeria police team invaded the three-bedroom bungalow of Alhaji Bashir Adok, the junior brother of the former minister. The EFCC had filed charges against the ex-minister, a former minister of petroleum resources, chief dentist, a businessman, Ali Abubakar and eight others over the auctioning of Malabu oil block. The others are Shell Nigeria Exploration Production Company Limited, Nigeria Agip Exploration Limited, and SBA, Malabu Oil and Gas Limited, Ralph Wetzels, ex-director of Snipco, Casula Roberto, Italian, whilst being the director of Agip, Pugati Stefano, Italian, 
while being the director in Egypt, and Borifato Sebastiano, Italian. Adok was one of the influential ministers in Jonathan's government. Meanwhile, a report has indicted three top management members of the Niger Delta Development Commission, for allegedly getting involved in a contract racketeering said to be worth N14 billion Naira in projects. According to the report, the contracts are projects to be carried out by the NDDC and Ondo state. The accusation is said to have been instigated by the oil-producing areas in the state, under the aegis of oil-producing communities of Ondo state, OPCUS.